Welcome to uh, a little something I thought I'd give a try here. Um, we're going to do a review. Uh, we just had uh, two regional tournaments this past weekend, and I thought it would be a good opportunity, seeing as we have uh, not just one, but two finals matches from two different regionals uh, that have uh, that have just happened to uh, to go over this. Um, video review has always been something that's been really popular for speedrunning, but not really for versus. So uh, I really wanted to make that more of a thing, I guess. Because uh, no one else is really doing that. So uh, I think people will enjoy it. And hopefully you guys do. So here's how this is going to work. We're going to watch each game of the matches uh, twice. Just so that on each time we can focus on one of the two players. And then after that we'll start the game over. And we'll rewatch it from the other person's perspective. So I'll just be commenting on one player's game at a time. I may reference the other person's board if I feel like that's relevant. But uh, I want to review both sides of uh, of the story as it were. So uh, we're going to do it that way. This is meant to be a positive experience where we all learn something and try to get better at the game. Um, but I am going to call a spade a spade. And if I see moves that I don't like or mistakes that I think are uh, less than good, I'm probably not going to be sugarcoating it. If I don't like a move, you're going to hear about it. That's going to be, that's just the way it's going to be. Because this is my stream and I'll do what I want. Uh, <laughs> Um, but you know, it's not it just, it's not meant to be, you know, disparaging to any of the players. Obviously it's just meant to be, uh, you know, pointing out mistakes so that we can learn from them and do better. All right. So, uh, let us go to, um, our, uh, first game. This is, uh, the Kentucky regional finals between Watchman and Betty B. Betty, the, the series saying Betty B in chat, of course. Um, so... I did watch this game live. The second game that we watched, I did not watch live. Um, but uh, we're going to... So that'll be a first watch for me. This one, I I know what the result is, but we're going to review it. Um, we're going to start from Watchmas' side of this. Um, and uh, bear with me if uh, there's any um, uh, technical issues. This is my first uh, run at this. And I wanted, so I don't know if I'm going to uh, run any technical issues or not, but we'll give it a shot here. I'm on my desktop audio so that you can hear sort of the co there, the commentary will be on very quietly in the background as we do this. Um, but let's, uh, okay, I think we got it right at the start of the match. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to be momentarily pausing to explain things and make my, uh, you know, make my analysis and point out things. And I also, uh, I'll just sort of display for you now. I do also have the ability to make marks. So uh, if there's something I want to highlight or where we're going to put moves, uh, then I can do it this way, as you can see. So hopefully that'll be a nice little visual aid for you guys uh, when uh, as we do this. But uh, that being said, let's start this off. We're going to start watching from um, Watchma's side of things, I think. Okay, so double red off to the start. Uh, I This is actually not as, straight, as straightforward as the warm-up obviously was. Um, I generally the rule of thumb for me is always what's the best first placement to set me up to uh, to get a combo going. Um, in this case, it's not really clear because uh, there's there's no even red stacks. Like you could put reds he the reds here, for example, but I mean it's not even. You don't have an even red blue stack here. You don't have an even double red stack here. It's not great. Um, you could try to do it like this, but that's not really great either. It doesn't make a setup. It creates sort of a vertical thing. I don't super love that. Um, <laughs> so I think if I had to make a choice uh, just off the uh, off of initial instinct, first column, Twitch each, uh, cap hand says, so like right this, this is okay. Uh, this is fine. Again, though, it doesn't really make a huge setup. Um, I think what I would do in this case, uh, it would go like this horizontally. Um, just the big reason being that it keeps the stack flat. Um, it uh, doesn't introduce any possibility of like if we were to do, say, uh, this move, and then a yellow piece of garbage would fall right here, or a blue piece of garbage and off color would fall here. And now the edge is, is blocked, and getting this blue is suddenly very difficult. I don't like turning if I don't have to, but he says, I don't really know what that means. Um, now I'm starting to think I should have maybe put the chat in the, the video here so that I can uh, upload this to YouTube later, but maybe next time I didn't really come prepared for that. 
But Betty, I don't like turning if I don't have to. I don't really know exactly what you mean by that, to be honest. But uh, I would. That's why I lose that column because I would go vertical. Yeah, I mean, if if you get if you did do this move with the double red, I would want to clear it away as soon as possible, even if you know just because it would be a really uneven stack uh, on the left side like that. But I think that my initial instinct is definitely to go like that color. <laughs> it would definitely be to go like this. Um, it all not only is it keep it flat, but also if you get like a double yellow after this, or even any kind of yellow piece, you could just put it like this, and now you actually have a combo setup you can do, um, and uh, you're only maybe two pieces away from getting the first blood, because unless you get like double blue red to put over on like the right side, like over here, then uh, you're not gonna get any kind of initial uh, setup. So I think that this double red uh, option is probably the best thing. Anyway, don't want to spend too much time on this. But uh, that's just uh, my thought on that. And let's see what they do. Okay, so that was actually a really interesting way to do it. That might honestly even be better than the move I suggested to put it there. You do have like cross ideas now. You have cross ideas both on the left and the right side. And you again have that ability to put like, uh, to put like blue up here like this uh, and make a combo. So I think that's actually an amazing move. That I never would have seen, I don't think. It also keeps this red yellow situation open because now he's got a red yellow coming. I forget what this pill is because he went too fast, but you can now do red yellow like this and uh, you have a, a, a combo setup going. So I actually love that move. Uh, let's uh, keep going. You can see he's setting up yellow. And like I said, he just has a cross idea. Gets fortunate garbage to drop that into a cross. That's huge. And already things are, are very clear for him. So yeah, his opening worked out great. Obvious uh, setups, very good. He's gonna get another one. Really, I mean, just glancing over at Betty's board, it's not great because he's doing a great job of keeping things, uh, keeping the pressure going here. Yeah, he's just. Not giving me much to comment on. He's playing this really well, I think. Blue red's great. Blue is also. This was a really good move here. This blue red, uh, in this spot here. It's actually awesome. Blue red right here. Super good. Um, there's not an obvious place to put this, but it sets up for uh, potentially clearing the red here and dropping the blues down to the blue virus down here. It also uh, as you can see, this blue yellow, he has a combo set up up here. He's just, it just keeps his options open and he saw it like instantly. Honestly, I didn't even catch that. Um, now that this virus or this garbage is here, he would have a spot for it. But at the time, this was definitely the best move for sure. <laughs> now he's going to get a sick triple off of that too. That's awesome. I want to talk about that combo. It looks pretty simple, but I want to just bring that up because it's uh, an important point. Uh, oh, wow, it didn't show me. Okay. So, you'll get the... Sorry, I skipped a little too far. It'll go back there in just a moment. Right here after this combo, I think he's going to get some garbage. So, he gets the blue garbage here. First of all, the double blue is great because it's kind of a double blue dependency unless you want to try to make a yellow-blue combo out of it. But when he puts the blue here, this is going to give him uh, a combo setup anyway. He's got a blue-yellow setup he can knock down with a single blue-yellow piece right now on the left side. The other thing that I think is really important about this is that it prioritizes the edge. And this is a concept that I don't really see a lot of people thinking about, but I think is super uh, relevant. I actually sort of thought about this from a Dimwit video that I saw. It was a Dimwit VOD review for speedrunning where he... He's, I think it was, I forget who it was run he was talking about, but it was just going through very rule of thumb stuff for speedrunning. And he said, one of the biggest things you should do is prioritize the edge because it's just more difficult to clear things on the edge here um, than it is to clear things in the middle. Dawn's run? Yeah, that makes sense. But he's just, yeah. But And he said that in the context of speedrunning. And I thought to myself, you know what? That actually makes a lot of sense for versus too. Because I'm sure you've seen a lot of games uh, where I'm going to quickly draw a bunch on his board. Games that just end up like this. And there's these columns are just completely full. 
and it just messes up the board completely. You're stuck in the center. And then even if you do clear out to the bottom, you have to clear all these all these viruses here on the right and the left underneath. Basically have to do all of it uh, horizontally. And uh, there's like no... You just take so long that if the other player is not in the spot, they just beat you because they don't have to deal with this issue. Um, if you prioritize edges, you you avoid this situation from happening, and this is and you keep your board clean and even across all of your columns, and you have more space to make more combos and continue that pressure. When you're in this spot that like I've just demonstrated here, very not good. Uh, so like personally, I I always try to prioritize the edge a lot. And uh, for me, I feel like it's really worked out well. But he says, I have a different opinion of that. And that's really interesting to me. Um, I'm going to continue, but I'd love for you to type your opinion in the chat and we can talk about that. Because uh, it's very interesting. Ooh, Space Colombo. Hey, welcome. Thanks for the first time chat. Uh, he says, if prioritizing the edge, can you speak about choosing the left edge over the right edge for this double blue? Uh, that's an interesting point, actually. Um, so there's... Oh, wow. That's actually a pretty interesting decision. So there is a general reason to favor the right side, which is that there's a lot of advanced techs you can do to get pills over to the left side faster that don't work going to the right. So in that sense, if you had to choose between the right and the left, all other things considered and being even, you would probably want to prioritize the right and you would want to put your blue double blue here. Because if you do that, then uh, uh, you like, even if the left side gets messed up, it's just easier to fix that because even if the left side, piles up and you have to get something up really high you can blink or you can kick flip pills over to the left where that's not possible to do to the right um so if you're not like hyper tapping like barrett or something you actually would want to favor the right over the left the biggest difference here though is that this this double blue is uh um uh just an like empty clear it's not a combo it doesn't generate any garbage or anything like that but it is very clean it also doesn't make any drop time um i think though i do like this a little bit better because it's a dependency and also because it makes a combo setup which is huge um you really have to um worry about the, the rate of your com like how what your combo rate is basically you have to make sure that uh if you have the opportunity to set up or take a combo that you do it as soon as possible uh so being able to both clear the edge prioritize the left edge and also make a combo in the process kind of makes me want to do the left side move a little bit better a little bit more rather but honestly i don't think that going to the right would be too much worse um it's just that uh if say like a red piece now falls here uh it gets a little dicey especially if then you ignore it further and like a blue falls here and a yellow falls here something like that um so and there's the blue, double blue is the only piece that can uh um that can really fit in this spot or that can fit in this spot sorry so well um so i don't know you could also do yellow blues horizontally like uh like a yellow blue this way and then a yellow blue like that but i think this double blue is probably a little bit better in the heat of the moment honestly it, either move is probably fine <laughs> but uh, i do think watch move was a little bit better a lot of garbage here Quick point to make, just I wish I could increment this a little bit better, but uh, frame by frame or something. Like that. You'll see here there's not uh, co op. I'll never mind, I'll go back to it. Another... Maybe I'll comment on it when we go to the next game, but uh, that's fine. So far, other than that, he's killing it. If you look over Betty's board, she's much higher up. He's been playing very solidly here. That was interesting. Uh oh. I don't mean to skip by 10 seconds every time I do this. I gotta figure out better hotkeys for this. Right hand side of your board. That's the gonna be vertical, here. All yellow. Uh, had heroic set up here. This, I feel like this must have been a misdrop here, and then this move here in a second. I mean, that one might have been on purpose because he had nowhere else to put this red yellow here, but this yellow blue, I feel like it must have been a misdrop. There's no real reason to do this. It does kind of make a combo set up with these yellows down here, I guess. Like, if you want to look down here, these yellows, you can drop it with the blue, I guess. But um, I think it would have been better to just... Well, I mean, maybe he did it on purpose, just because this isn't really... a To put it one column to the right doesn't really make a combo set up anyway. But 
Mm. I don't know. That's pretty wild. That's pretty strange move. Because now if garbage falls on here up top, it's like just like right here, not a blue, like the red piece. Like that's really bad. So I don't think he meant to do that. But he is gonna just get yellow reds and clear this out anyway in a second, as you just saw. that <laughs> ends up making a huge combo out of it though so that was incredible but i think that like he could have uh still you know found a better solution there just kind of took his miss drop and made something really nice out of it well that's unfortunate that's this is sort of what i was talking about where he got this yellow double yellow and he missed drop because he couldn't get over fast enough this is a reason you might want to prioritize the right edge over the left um at least just one factor to consider because this could have been a much easier move if it was on the other side of the board, for sure. But he knocks it all down anyway, so it, it works out. I think he'll make a setup out of these yellows, I'm sure. He's great. Love the T setup. I mean, he's he's finding horizontal stuff here. This is this is not a great situation to be in. I actually don't even. I was just kind of mesmerized, and I didn't even really see how he got to this point. But little things like the yellow, double yellow misdrop and the blue, like the misdrops he made earlier, that's the kind of thing where a small misdrop will lead to a situation like this, where you have like just a mix of in the middle. It's at least in the middle where he can. You know he has room to to create setups and and maybe make something out of this, but it's uh it's that's little misdrops and small mistakes are how you get into situations like this. Um, it's again it's not unrecoverable. He's not not necessarily going to lose the whole game because he got himself here, but uh obviously it would be better if he had uh, not put himself in this situation. So yeah. Like, if you ever wonder, oh, man, how come I always get into this situation every game where there's garbage everywhere and I can't uh, I can't do anything because like, all this garbage is falling everywhere and, and I can't get any combos or clear any viruses? Like, what's the deal? It's probably just because there's mistakes happening. Uh, just small mistakes that might not even seem related at all. But when, you know, you don't address them or you don't even realize that they're happening, um, it festers into something like this. Uh, also, it could just be that your opponent, your your opponent's car making combos faster than you and, and making a lot more garbage. But uh, in Machima's case, I think you know little things like that matter. Keeping your board clean does matter in versus. Um, combos are important, and it is worth it sometimes to make garbage just to get a combo off before your opponent does. But that doesn't mean you should you can just ignore the the your board health. Like your board health really does matter a lot. Um, not just for your ability to get to your viruses, but also to just not be so uh, impacted by like a rogue piece of garbage screwing up your entire board and, and causing problems and setting you back really far. The cleaner your board is, usually the better equipped you are to handle garbage coming your way. So you have to keep it in mind. You can't just, you know, I think a lot of people maybe want to play like Hibimato and just be like, I don't care about viruses. I don't care about garbage. I'll just make setups all day and do what I want. And it's like, yeah, you can do that. And if you're really good at it, uh, you can sometimes get away with that against people who are less like lesser skilled players than you. But um, you, you just, that's, a, you're, you're, you're doing yourself a disservice in the long run. You should really focus on board health and combos. The, the key is to do it all at once. Anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent here. Let's keep going. But we'll talk about that that petty that petty misdrop when we go back. He's doing his best now to break out the center here, uh, clean up that sort of mess. It already looks better than I than when I paused it earlier. He's got a blue red set up on the left, which unfortunately cleared out. Uh, he has yellow reds in the center now, and he's basically just looking to start knocking this down before he gets hit by another combo. And just keep the pressure on Betty here. Yeah, and he was forming some doubles where basically anything he needed was going to be useful to him. Good combo. 
combo from Betty. Her column six and eight still up high, but she's managing to bring them down a little bit by a little bit with good, well-timed horizontals. Prioritize the edge and make a double here. That's really good. Blue garbage is fortunately blocks his red yellow. I don't know about that. He did have to course correct. Uh, <laughs> this red yellow pill here, I'm, I don't know. He did have to course correct after he, uh, um, after this blue garbage fell. Uh, I feel like there's this yellow red setup here. I feel like he must have been able to take a combo, right? I want to go back without going back 10 seconds. Pretty nice. I have to go back 10 seconds. With good, well -timed horizontals. So that combo gets this. The, oh no, he hadn't. He didn't have it yet. But he, he could have started it here and then this double yellow. If he had just put the yellow red like this, then this double yellow would have come down on top of it and then that would have cleared it and do a combo right away, which I think would have been better than the. I guess he was thinking I can drop to these yellows here, but. I mean, he had a combo in two moves, so I think that's just a better play in this case. Uh, it's hard to see everything, obviously. We have the privilege of being able to pause the game and think about it, but um, as soon as I saw this, I was like, this can't be the correct move. There's no way. There's got to be something better. And, you know, sometimes there isn't, but even if he had gone, like, uh, the other way with it and he had gone, like, yellow red this way, even that would have been better. Uh, and he could have put double yellow like this, and, again, he would have made a combo in two moves. Um, see if this causes an issue for him later on because he missed that. We want these games to last. We want these games to last. We he does find some. It ends up working out perfectly because this setup is great. He gets a triple, and then this garbage unfortunately breaks the setup, but he would have had another one. So that worked out well, but uh, maybe he uh, he also is now still has this edge to deal with. He's the next yellow red he gets has to go on these seven eight here has to, but it's just not coming. And that can happen too sometimes, where you will just go on a drought of a particular piece for you can go it can go really long. And I'm not even talking about just the doubles. Even some sometimes you'll just need a yellow blue or something, and it just doesn't happen. He still hasn't taken this combo here, and I don't love that because he hasn't had been punished yet. But if any of this garbage falls here, and I mean honestly, even falling here, it's not good because it's starting to block off this whole right side. Also, given that it's harder to get pills to the right, you really want to just take this as soon as possible. And he's just totally kind of ignoring it. But he's getting stuff on the left side here. This center's gotten really dangerous. Although this garbage is going to give him a free T. That's pretty cool. I think he's... Oh no, there's a yellow here. I was looking at like a T setup, but this is getting really bad now. Yeah, like... I'm not really sure what happened on this left side. I'd actually love to go back like 10 seconds and just see what happened. How I think he just got unlucky garbage at certain times. Yeah, this yeah, this misdrop definitely hurt. This garbage really hurt him in this case. Yeah. And because these columns are so open, he's suffering like maximum stun lock. He finds the setup though, but like, how do you even address this? He's like, unfortunately, this just got away from him. And I think he focused maybe like uh, on the wrong things here. If he had cleared anything a little too fast, Betty obviously is running away with it now. Right, and you're trying to figure out when that's going to fall and when you need to start moving and rotating. That's why you see so many bad logs. <laughs> yeah, and now he's just stuck. And, and there's really no surviving this. He'll try, but no. And that'll be the end of the game for Watchma. Uh, yeah, wow. I mean, again, I don't really know how he uh, got himself into that spot. I'd like to go back maybe even a little further just to see. No, that's not far enough. Like, look at this. It was almost the complete opposite. His left was so open. And then this gets cleared. And he's maybe he started to address the right side. And, uh, well, no, because he kind of ignored it. He just built up here. Like, this, this double yellow in this spot here was not good. He's blocking. He's just sort of building up in the center here instead of addressing the right side. I would have wanted to knock this down. Um, and maybe even go for this red T here, this like T set up preemptively because being able to just take this column down even one row would be great. Um, and he can do that and get a combo 
all by putting like if he had put like the yellow red like red yellow or red yellow even if he had made a garbage and then this next and then the next red yellow that he's going to get right now maybe that goes like this uh now he gets a t combo he breaks down the right side he uh takes this sixth column down a peg he gets to do so much he gets so much value out of this like one little setup as opposed to whatever he's trying to do over here which i don't really think was super helpful <laughs> Uh, could have had a fat log. Yeah, even that. Yeah, even that, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, you could do. Uh, see what she, what she's, uh, what Capnance is talking about. You can do a yellow red like this, and then you can just do yellow red like this, and you've got like a super big T. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and then you get to take this column down by two col by two rows, which uh, would be even better. This could be a tunnel. <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean. Do you mean like we're going down the rabbit hole of like every move you could possibly make? <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of ways to address this. Uh, even if you don't go for this big T, which now that you're showing me this, I think probably is the best option. My only concern is that it's risky. Um, but if you know you're getting two yellow reds in a row, I think this could be good. The nice thing is that, uh, um, well, honestly, yeah, this is probably still just better. This is so good. Watch my tunneling where his pills are going. Oh, you mean like he's tunnel visioning where he's so focused on the left side, he's not even thinking about this? I would agree because he leaves this right side open for way too long. Like, way too long. Like, it's just not, yeah. Uh, and he doesn't address it ever, and I think that was a big issue. Because he just built up stuff in the left that then didn't work out, and then it, it got him into, like, this position here where he's, like, uh, just got a huge left side build up. Like, that's uh, it's probably the, a big issue here. Okay, now let's watch Betty and see all the awesome things that she did that led to her win here. <laughs> Uh, we'll try to run this through quickly because I just realized we spent like half an hour on one half of us. Maybe we'll only do one tonight. I didn't really think we would spend this long going through a single game. Double yellow. Oh, no, this is the warm up. The warm up. <laughs> Forget what second we started at. All right, let's see how Betty starts this. I'd like to watch him as opening move. Let's see what Betty does. Yeah, she just puts the double red here. Like I said it before, it's not amazing to put this here, but it's not bad. I mean, you know, you're keeping your red pieces connected, you know, in, a, in connected groups like this. You're not blocking anything else. Um, it's not a bad move. Is it as did watch was move, watch was move better? Maybe. But, you know, even if you just make like the second best move, as long as you're doing it quickly, that's not that big a deal. Uh, so, yeah, totally fine to do this here. And she ends up making a garbage here to get this yellow-red set up, and she ends up beating Watchma to the first blood here. Uh, it ends up giving him the cross, but, you know, that's life. That's just going to happen sometimes. Um, so, interesting thing here also, uh, if I can go back like a million seconds, where she does this setup in the center. She would know why the video is glitched. Right. Go back like seven seconds. Go oh, back wow. one second. But she has this yellow red. This red garbage falls here, and she just likes to just sort of take the yellow out. Um, I would have liked to leave the setup open if possible, just because it's her only active setup. Now that this red has fallen here, it almost kind of got gifted to her. But uh, you know, if a garbage falls here, it's pretty risky. Given it's in columns four or five, I don't hate this, but. Um, I would have looked to see if a yellow red at least was the next pill. Maybe she did that, and I just, you know, I would have no way of knowing. That's a great horizontal here. Just, oh, I need to point this out. Um, so this setup she's doing here, this T, um, obviously it's a great combo. There's no doubt about that. That's pretty obvious. But the other thing that's I really love about this uh, is right here. Is the fact that she's going to make this horizontal and it's going to drop this blue down and this kind of feeds into what i was saying before about prioritizing the edges looking for shapes like this or for shapes like what she has in the left here with like the yellow on the top and then this reds in the middle uh that can be cleared horizontally is a shape i look for a lot when i'm playing versus to try to clear the edges down when things start to get a little high up um they're so good for both making a set combo and also clearing out your edges at the same time 
um, it's awesome. Obviously, this is even more complicated where she's made a T out of it, but sometimes you have to make a T just to get a, a nice horizontal like this. This is so huge to see these and these setups and to make them in order to not just lower the, the edge, but to make, make them totally free to clear away. Uh, and also keeping the pressure on your opponent with combos. Um, being able to do all those things at once um, happens pretty often with this particular type of setup. And so I always look for stuff like this. Whenever I see I ha an edge and I'm, I'm trying to think of a way of like how I'm going to knock it down and how I'm going to deal with it, this is the first. I always try to find something like this, some sort of uh, sandwich, uh, de-sandwich setup that, uh, that will result in a combo and also clear out everything. Because um, usually this is the only way you can do it. And uh, it's, uh, again, it, it keeps the pressure on your opponent. It is incredible for your board health. Just uh, does so many things for you. So this is, if, if you have trouble with your edges and like, how am I going to deal with these edges? How do I attack them horizontally? The first thing you should always look for is a shape like this um, to see if you can just get double duty, make a combo and clear your edge out at the same time. Um, very, very uh, useful. Uh, not, not really a trick, but a very useful uh, rule of thumb to go for, I would say. She's just doing her thing. She's got this really weird. I don't. I didn't really see exactly how this happened. She's got this really weird blue cluster here with these reds on top. I would probably be thinking about trying to maybe do something horizontally here to to try to clear this out because this is right in the center of the board and it's going to be very difficult to clear unless you get like a double red into a red blue that you can just instantly put up here and then like red blue like this at the top of the screen just to clear it all out. Unless you get them like literally one after the other, there's really no other way to clear this out other than horizontally. And also it will let you get to this uh, red, yellow sort of D sandwich set up on the side. So that's probably what I would be thinking here. Um, she's not really getting the pieces for that though. So she's kind of just made like a blue red stack here. She's going to get a yellow red combo. This yellow red's going to go for here. Um, so she's, she's doing what she can with the pills she has. I'm curious to see if she ends up going horizontally for this or not. She does, yeah. Doesn't make a combo, but uh, it brings the board down. And she does it again to get the exact setup. That was so well done. I didn't even see the setup that you used there, everybody. That was crazy. What did you actually do? You did that, yeah. Oh, and then you get the blue horizontal here. And it's going to work perfectly with these blue reds. That's incredible. It's going to drop this down one row and then get the whole setup. That's sick. Well done. Amazing find. Oh, she made the T out of it. Even better than what I thought. <laughs> You're seeing like you're you're really finding like the maximum damage you can do. That's so good. Yeah. Oh, sh her setup. That's too bad that it gets blocked here. But she's gonna figure something out. She puts this underneath. Huh? Yeah. I don't know. Like this is just a bad situation for you. But you do make your way out of it. So okay. Now you have reds. So this isn't making any combos or anything like that. That's a bit rough, but we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, I, I don't really know what else you could have done here. Like you weren't really getting uh, any pieces for setups. I'm sure we can go back and analyze it and figure something out. But in the moment, that would that was so hard to see any other way to do that, I think. Uh, <laughs> you, you're at least trying to, you're like you're just making horizontal clears to try to just bring your center down as much as you can. And, work it out but this was really rough rng i feel like if you can clear all this out you get this blue for this little z sandwich combo here and you could even if you're if you really cleared everything if you had maybe not misdropped this you could have gotten like the blues all the way across into the yellows and now you're just laughing because your whole you're going to bring your whole board down your board health's going to improve dramatically as soon as you do that but we'll see what happens now that you've made this misdrop here just trying to clear it down this double yellow will, is a pretty opportune. You get a cross out of this. Yeah, and as Ibar said in the chat, nice. This is just another game between friends. Let's treat it that way. That'll be a lot lower stakes, but this is a this is was interesting. Um, you did the horizontal across. I saw a yellow red opportunity on that. Yeah, and as Ibar said in the chat, 
for an actual combo, which I think I would have preferred. So you get this yellow. As soon as I got that yellow and I saw the double yellow coming to set this up. I could draw on the screen. To set this up here, if you'd put it like that. Uh, seeing that this makes a setup, I don't love the setup, but knowing that you have the... I would have been looking for this yellow red coming to see if I get it. And if I get it, then I'm definitely putting the double yellows here and going across like this. Uh, obviously, that's hard to do in the moment, but I think that uh, um, seeing that double yellow in the next box, that's I would have been thinking, make this make this combo setup, and then especially if you get a yellow red. If you don't, then maybe you can play the maybe you can play the double yellow like over here or something. Uh, oh, if I could do it, yellows not with that controller. <laughs> no, I mean it's on the left. It's it's not that hard. Is the controller that bad that you couldn't like kick flip it over? If I had confidence in the controller, that's, well, hot hot tip here. Free one for all of you guys out there. Get a controller you're comfortable with because you need to, you know, you can't be passing up on moves like this and setups like this if you, if just because you don't think your controller can do it. Um, you know, if, if you don't think you personally can do it, that's another issue. That's something you have to work on. You can fix that. But uh, you have to be confident that your controller is going to do the thing you want it to do. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, I hate to hear that, unfortunately, Betty. But uh, yeah, that's another topic for another day on what you can do about your controller uh, and, you know, how to, you know, uh, the short version is get in a classic controller and fix it up. Um, there's a much longer answer uh, version of that, but uh, that's the short version I for me anyway. I just use an NES controller with an adapter and I have my own custom pads in it. And that's the only thing I've ever changed, just because, like, if you get an old NES controller, those pads in it have probably been mashed on for 30 years, um, probably a bunch of dirt and and who knows what in there. Um, so, you know, open it up, take the little board out, clean it out, throw some pads in there, because you can't be passing up on stuff like this just because you think the controller is no good. Betty, if you brought that controller to this tournament, uh, shame on you. <laughs> Figure out your controller situation. You can't be doing. You can't be passing up on stuff like this in Columbus. <laughs> but I think you definitely like that's that's I think the better spot here. You didn't bring this controller to. Did you use a, a loaner? I'm surprised if you used a loaner controller. But uh, yeah, I would uh, look into your controllers. I guess you usually play on Super Nintendo controller, don't you? Fun fact for all the Betty fans out there. I forgot about that. Yeah, well, that's a little tough. I mean, it's kind of seems silly for me to be like, just buy an NES controller just for Columbus, but that's what I did. So that's the only thing I can think of. This is so impressive to watch. You all see things so much faster than me. Well, I mean, that's why we're slowing it down here so we can review all this stuff. So everybody can sort of see these things and we can actually take have enough time to explain them without, you know, obviously in the heat of the moment, you got to just go through it and just make the decisions in the split second. But um, you, it's hard to learn from that. And so I think, I think it's great to be able to pause and slow things down and show all this stuff. Anyway, I don't want to get too off topic on the controller situation. Betty, we'll talk about this later. Talk about your controller situation uh, another time. That'll be a lot lower stakes, but, this is a, this is a big but she'll get the red-blue set up here anyway, so that's pretty good. Stacking up the yellow red, so that's great. Making this blue red setup that she unfortunately broke. I'm sure she could have done something else, but again, not too bad. Interesting. Wow. wow. <laughs> what foresight that you had to do that. Let's go back 10 seconds so I can show everyone that again. So I believe that was garbage that fell. And then you put this blue yellow right here. That is so good. Uh, I don't think many people would have seen that. I think they might have put it like up here or like up here. Just do a little setup here. But that has its own issues for sure. This was great because you get to clear this other kind of garbagey yellow over here and you're going to make a combo setup out of it. So this is sort of like, you know, a next level thing that uh, that I don't think many people would would even think to do honestly you're just gonna you're gonna basically put any yellow pieces you don't care what's on the other half that goes up here you're just gonna put, fill this in get a combo um and then at some point 
you'd like to put a blue piece in, like insert a blue piece in here so that you can yellow here and just get another combo. But uh, I don't think that this was the right piece to do with. I probably would have done that and just dealt with the consequences later. But uh, I think this move's really good. So that's excellent. Not too bad. Not too bad. No, that's good. She can maneuver up. With that. Yeah, and then this double red on top to fall down here. So good. And then you, <laughs> then you get the perfect pieces to just triple this out. That was great. A lot of horizontals there without a combo. That's unfortunate garbage too. Not much you can do about that. All right, fine. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, just a quick thing to point out. We won't spend too much time on this, but this double red here used after a while. Let's watch your combo again. This double red that you put here? No, no, no. No, no, no. Very bad. Don't like this at all. So first of all, you have a double blue coming that you can put up here. You can put this here. And you can uh, eventually drop this red down onto the reds below to make a combo. So you're breaking a combo setup. Uh, the other problem with this move is that you can just go right here. And you get a combo right away. Yes, if you get a red blue, you can make a triple. I get that. If this is a blue, it falls down here and makes a triple. But you don't have another great spot for this except for maybe far right uh, or second call. Like the, what, uh, cat, uh, what Toxic Fire Spin said. Like you could go like over here and now you have a red yellow setup. Uh, without having uh, a red yellow right here, I don't love this move because if you don't get a red yellow and then you get a blue or a yellow landing up here and blocking it, now your right is your edge is really bad. So, I think given that you have this option to just take this combo, I would have just taken it. Uh, I definitely wouldn't have broken your setup down here under the board, basically exposing nothing of, of value here. Uh, I think you should have just taken the combo. It should have been the end of it. And then, your then this double blue would have gone here. And then we'll see what piece you got after that. But literally any blue gets you another follow-up. And maybe you're now you're stun-locking Watchmo. I think that's just way better. Yeah, I see now what you said about the confidence in the controller. Clearly this double yellow was meant to be here. And I wonder if that was a controller thing or an input thing. Your speed is... A little high but it's not that high i feel like you should have been able to do that on a proper controller and then this yellow blue would have been nice to knock it down you would have got it pretty quick i'm sure you're probably just going to put the yellow blue away. well we'll see what happens though oh wow never mind going for horizontals love that another quick example of just how like miss drops like this now her board looks horrible on the right side a lot of controller hijinks in crown this is crown one still betty we're still in your first game there's a lot oh there is a lot of control hijinks in crown two but we'll get to that red isn't so bad you have opportunities and you're going for them I mean, you're gonna yeah and then you're gonna do this yeah okay yeah so stuff like that it's hard to see but you really these are the kinds of moves like i, I almost don't want to go back because i don't want to break the video but she gets this she gets the red blue just especially when this falls now that you're doing that after this blue fell this was a great move just you know you're completing the red horizontal here uh you have a blue on top to fall down here so even if this red blue doesn't come, maybe you have a blue yellow that you put on top, and then you. But even even then, like the red blue makes a fat log here. It was just great, just amazing. Pretty hard to once you made that move, it's pretty hard to do anything, uh, you know, bad about it. She's gonna go for another one, casual fat log into a combo, and another one. See, sometimes when you just group up the right colors and make these horizontals like that, it all just comes together. <laughs> Nice L. Just as a quick note also, um, this L that she did here was great. 
Um, L's and T's are not as good in speedrunning as they are in verses. They are pretty important in verses, mostly because L's and T's are very easy to do when you're getting stuck on a color, which NES likes to do to you a lot. So if you're just getting, if you just need a blue, but you're, all you're getting is yellow pieces and like yellow, yellow, red, yellow, or something like that, or even if you're just getting like a a a, a burst of a specific pill, uh, sometimes, especially if you already have like the skeleton of a T set up on your board already, it's just so good to make an L or a T yet when you're getting a lot of one color because it's really hard to make like traditional double stacks out of a single color. You can do it, but it's not it usually requires doubles. It's not. It's very difficult. Um, but even if you're leaving garbage behind and you just get like yellow X pills, um, you can, for example, you can just make L's and T's. And they usually also incorporate horizontals, which is also something that makes them very good because uh, horizontals tend to be really good for your board health, as it turns out. So, uh, yeah, if you're getting if you find you're getting flooded on a color, look for T's and L's like it is important to see those uh, because they are not as easy to find as like just double stacks, but they're so good for your board health so, and uh, they really help you out. They're sometimes the only option you have when you're getting flooded with a color like uh, like just the same color constantly for like 10 pills in a row or something. That's a nice little drop. So and just to talk about the game as a whole now, like where we are at the moment, I'll, I won't pause this. I'll let it go. But as you can see, like they're pretty even. Betty has a right column. that's not great, but she's got an open center. Uh, and, and other than this column, the board's actually great. And she's just kind of doing whatever she needs to do and uh, just finding setups, doing sweet fat logs and stuff like that. And uh, I feel like maybe... Watchman's issue that we talked about before isn't just ignoring his board health, but he's also not really making combos to the same degree that Betty is. Like, the amount of combos that she's doing uh, is probably a big reason why she won this game, and probably a big reason why most people win most games, I would say. You've, you, you, to some extent, just have to keep on pace for combos with your opponent, and if they're out comboing you, it's really hard to win. That doesn't mean, that, like I said, you do have to focus on other things, but, uh, Comboing is definitely something you cannot ignore, and this is exactly why. She's just running free. I can't. She hasn't been getting garbage at all now because, uh, you know, when you get more combos, your opponent has a harder time comboing you back. So it's just really that's why it's so strong. She gets a sweet setup here. That's really good. She takes this setup on the left. That's also really good. Uh, she almost blocks it off, but she decides to just go for the clear, which is fine. As long, you know, better to, you know, make an empty clear than block an entire setup. Sets up for her that. I don't love this double red, but obviously you were just excited about the double blue fat log, and I totally get that. This isn't that big an issue, and the watch is about to top out anyway, so that's great. Yeah, I think that game mostly just came down to, uh, um, just... Betty just out comboed Watchma in the second half of that game. She fell behind at the beginning because Watchma had a better start, but once she got past that, uh, Watchma did, could not keep up and, and follow through on the pressure he'd started with, and Betty just took that opportunity and started playing her game, and uh, Watchma did, could not keep up. And you'll you'll probably, I think if you watch, like, if you watch every, every versus game ever, I think probably like 80 to 85% of them come down to that. Um, it also just illustrates that, like, even if things are rough at the beginning, you absolutely have the chance to come back. Because uh, if the other player makes a mistake on their board, um, it's hard to really notice that. But you just have to kind of trust that that is a thing that could happen and is going to give you an opportunity to come back. Evil pill pretended to be a different color. I, I missed that, but uh, I think maybe you meant the double red here, perhaps. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, I think that was mostly the... Uh, lesson to learn here just uh you know combo fast in your opponent that's important do it as much as you can because as, as long as you're doing it more than the other person there's a high chance you're probably going to win yeah game two let's look at the first pill red yellow red yellow uh, i mean the obvious choice is here whoops like that um i don't really see any other option on this board you could, like, if you really wanted to, do this. 
And then you have like a red blue option here, but you have a blue red option here on these spots. So I don't think it's that big of a deal to do that. I think that this move here, I don't really think there's any debate that that's the best move to open with. Start off, and then you have basically a yellow blue stack if you or yellow blue stack here if you want, and a blue red stack. So you can make a short, you can make a double stack out of basically any split pill here. So there's no reason to make it any more complicated than that, I think. And they're both going to do that exactly. Oh, 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 oh. This is not good. This he he did this to make it clear, but honestly, I would have taken the drop time just to never do this. This is not good. Uh, he could, if he gets a double blue, maybe fix this by, like you know, making an L setup. But I would never do this on purpose, hoping for that. First of all, double pills are rare. Double blue is the most rare pill, uh, and uh, I don't really think I just don't believe that that was his plan when he made that move. Um, the fact that this is in column four and a big vertical spire. Very, very bad. I don't like this at all. This is super dangerous. All it takes is for Betty to get like one or two lucky combos, and now you have like this situation, and you have your one column away from dying. You don't really have any great horizontal opportunities here, and if you do, they don't get you any combos. This is like right off the hop. I feel like Watchman's put himself way behind just by this one misdrop that he's made here. There's one piece of garbage. Oh, if that had fallen there, he would have lost instantly. And now he's in this sp horrible spot and he will take it down. But like he was so close to losing there. If he had gotten an Ian Luckier, he would have lost on the spot just from that one mistake that he made. That's uh, that's what I was talking about. Like you cannot make moves like that in the center two columns. You shouldn't make them anywhere on the board if you can help it. But where he did that in the center column, very dangerous. He's He recovered well, but... Uh, <laughs> He's already now. He had to do it as with empty clears. He made no combos. Betty, as you can see, is already making it down the board faster than him. Um, doesn't mean, like I said, you know, if you if you if things are rough at the start, it doesn't mean you can't come back. But if you can get ahead at the start, I would always prefer to be the one that gets the early lead for sure. And now this red garbage is falling here. And now this blue garbage is falling here. And this is just going to be a pressure point from the rest of the game. And look, he, he's so, this has pressured him so much. I, that He didn't know where this red yellow should go. And he panicked and he threw it over to the left and totally missed her. I Yeah, like, if he, that's what, you know, misdrops beget misdrops. Garbage be, and, and, and bad board health begets bad board health. Uh, if you can keep things clean and simple, it will just help you from being in these rough positions where you have to make these incredibly important decisions uh and you know you won't panic it's yeah you just don't want to be in this spot there's no and he put himself there it's not even like garbage fell badly for him he put the blues there not this blue but the one that was here he he made that choice and uh yeah that's a perfect example because i feel like that choice that he made literally got him into this horrible spot where now his left is like popcorn situation that's really not good So he puts the double red here. If he puts it, he, if he sees a red yellow here, I'm actually it's too close to the top to even make a combo. I think seeing the red blue here, he actually should have. In fact, strange as it might seem, I think he actually should have put the double red here, and then on the next bill, he can actually just kill the lead off the top with zero drop time and clear out this whole column. Because now he's put this double red here, it doesn't make a combo setup. It does help clear this column, but this is the this this column here is the one that you're more concerned about. This is the one that you need to take down. If you get yellows, you can horizontal to bring it down a row. But if you get a double red with a red split, any red split, red, blue, or yellow, I don't care. Double red even. Um, I think it's it's okay seeing that next box to put that there. If this is yellow blue, maybe you just put this here and then you go for the horizontal or something like that. But seeing red blue here, I think you definitely strange as it seems, you just stack the column here and then. You, uh, you peeled the lead off the top, and now you've got a much clearer center right just like that. It's a perfect example of paying attention to the next box and why that can be important. Oh my, he's up high. He will get some horizontals, and he'll get a D sandwich combo. That's huge. 
and now he has another one set up here that uh, he's going to clear away so that he can take it, and he does. It unfortunately didn't make a combo. He never got a red piece to make it an actual combo, but at least the center's clear. It's unfortunate that this is probably going to be... I assume this is going to be like this for the rest of the game. He doesn't have any great... It's like a double... It's like a double... Uh, um, like both of the, these two side columns are messed up now. Gonna look for this L. That's great. Anything to make a combo. It's unfortunate this yellow comes. In. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Let me see yellow blue set up here. But things are already looking bad now. He has way less space to work with. Way less options. He's making a lot of empty clears. And Betty, in the meantime, under zero pressure, is just sending so much garbage to him and receiving none in return. He's gonna get some combos now. And that's a sweet. That's a sweet. It's gonna be a quad coming to Betty. Um, I wouldn't say it's too late for him to win from the spot, but it's gonna take a lot of combos and a lot of, uh, perf like, basically perfect play, I guess. Now blocks off this whole idea down here. He will get a combo at least, but he still wants a yellow blue for this. He can't find it, so, yeah. He'll find some setups, but I mean, when we go back, to, we go back to watch Betty's half of this game. I guarantee you, you're just gonna see her playing a speed run speed, and like she's not even like there's no garbage to worry about whatsoever, and you just can't let good players like Betty get away with that. If you do that, you're gonna lose for sure. That's why combos are so important. We're just. You can hear Savage commentating, just talking about the insane combos Betty's doing over here. We'll we'll see that in the next uh, run pass through this game, but uh, the reason she's able to do that is just because Watchman's in this horrible spot where he can't make combos. He can make the odd double here or there, but she's so much freer to, to do whatever she needs to do. Like, I mean, we can keep watching. I'm probably not going to comment too many more on, on Watchman's moves because he's just not in a good spot, and he's going to top out here, right? Yeah. And as you can see, look at Bedra's board. She's got like three viruses remaining that are, I mean, this is covered by some blues, but it's basically clear. Um, I'm not going to go back and counter anything, but it, it was very clear to me that he's not able to make too many combos. And it all kind of starts from like those decisions at the start of the game that put him in this bad spot where his columns were blocked off on the left. Uh, and then he didn't make combos after that, trying to fix his mistakes. And then Betty didn't have any pressure on her at all, continued to make combos, and then just let the, then Watchman's uh, problems just snowballed from there, and uh, it carried all the way to the end of this top out. Um, I wonder if this game had been different, literally if that first move I'd pointed out hadn't been done, and he hadn't messed up his left, his center column so much on purpose, well, not a, on, on purpose, he didn't mean want to mess it up, nobody wants that, but that was a choice that he made, I don't think that was a misdrop. Can you hear the commentators all playing? I would think it would be unnerving when you hear them praising a big combo from your opponent. Uh, I don't know in this case because I wasn't there. I When I was at the Texas Regional, I can tell you that I was like the two stream setups were literally like there was a left stream setup and a right stream setup. And then their two commentators sat in between them. So no matter which stream setup you're on, you're literally sitting next to the commentators. And uh, I wouldn't say it was unnerving. It wasn't great. I don't love hearing... You know, it can be distracting. And yeah, when they're praising a combo from your opponent. But honestly, I actually use that to my advantage because we didn't have the game sound and we didn't have the uh, um, like the little combo noise that tells you when a combo is about to fall on you. So instead of that, I just use the commentators for that. They would go, oh, here comes a big combo from Packy. And I'd be like, OK, cool. Now I know that a garbage is about to fall. I need to act accordingly. And I literally, that literally did impact my decision making in the tournament. I, I promise you that. Yo, Swang raid. Thank you for the raid, Swang. Hope you're doing good. Hope uh, your Dr. Luigi career uh, is, uh, is successful. <laughs> but yeah, the lack of game sound makes the combos commentating helpful more than distracting. Yeah, but also they make jokes and 
sometimes, you know, you'll make a mistake and they'll go, oh, he misdropped. Uh, and then you're like, oh, God, I misdropped. And then it gets in your head. Right. So I'd rather not hear them if I had the choice. But um, there it has its advantages, too. My bar says, I know I can hear them, but I don't know what they're saying half the time. Yeah, that's the other thing. If you're, you know, if you can focus enough, you can kind of zone out. But if they're literally right next to you, it, it's yeah. But it is what it is. You know, I'm just happy to have tournaments. It'd be everyone going to be bored of hearing of this match by the time I start. <laughs> Wait, you were going to review your VOD tonight? I'm sorry. I didn't know that. <laughs> well, I'll if if you're if you start streaming by the time I'm done, I'll, I'll give you a raid and everyone can is just going to have to listen to it again and they'll have to see your thoughts on it and how they differ from mine. <laughs> sorry, Patty. We shouldn't have made it to the finals then. It's your fault. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's get back to this. Oh, yes. Yeah. So that was a topic. Let's watch Betty's side of things. I'm sure it's just going to be like a freaking highlight reel, but uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. Uh, identical, identical openings, by the way. Love that. So cool. The coolest thing I ever see in a game. Betty's shaking her head a little bit. I think she wanted to make that yellow red into a combo. Uh, I didn't see how that red yellow happened up here. Let me go back. How that happened. That's good. Oh, it was just garbage. So that's better than Watchman's mistake because like you didn't do this on purpose. That's gonna happen, and there's ways to address it. Um. But uh, see how you deal with it. It's a blue yellow. Yeah, I'm down to take that. I think it looks like you're just gonna try to do. Uh, yeah, make a sweet L out of it. See, that's the difference. Like when Watchman is comboing, trying to clear this blue out of the way in his column four, he can't do it with a setup. It's not possible. But the way that Betty approached the situation when she had that rogue red at the top, she managed to do it with a setup. And the best players are going to do that because that is obviously the ideal situation. If you can improve your board health and also put pressure on your opponent at the same time, that's the key. And now Watchman's got this red garbage here, but she's not getting any sort of pressure. She can continue to make combos and snowball this advantage. It's not that it's not like Watchman and then this mess drop really is just uh, awful for him. Meanwhile, Betty's just, yeah, like I said, highlight reel. She gets a double red. This will be sick. I'm oh sure she's holding out for it. Oh, no, she doesn't. But she makes the setup again just to take a combo. Yeah, I'm done with that. Fortunate that there's no setup there, but she'll get a yellow blue here. So he does. if you can break a setup, but you're making another setup at the same time, it's kind of a wash. That's that's like the one time we're breaking a setup's okay. Um, there's some other reasons that it might be okay, but that's the biggest one. She gets a setup here, so that's fine. She has some sweet uh, horizontal uh, possibilities here. She can do this and get the combo here. She can do this and, and not necessarily get a combo, but bring things down. She also has this if, if garbage ever piles up to this point. She has an option to take this down. And I mean, she, better, oh, she knocks it down that way. That's a combo. That's probably better than what I was going to say. We're going to pretend I didn't say anything. Oh, my God. Yeah. And I just wanted to point out, like, in all this time that she's been doing this, again, no garbage falling. She has no pressure on her whatsoever. She's just going to town, doing whatever she wants. No, uh, you know, no recourse for, uh, you know, for playing at a slower pace. Like, Watchma's just in the situation where he is not able to pressure her, and that is when you really lose the game. You then that's why board health is important. Um, she, uh, because he has better board health, she has more opportunity to a finish the level, but also b to make combos. Um, board health directly impacts your ability to make enough combos to keep up with your opponents. So you do also have to keep it in mind for sure. This is awesome. Love that swing of spirit. You gotta feel like this is one that watchman can just hope for the best, but not expect to get Oh, also yeah, one more thing to point out. Right here, Betty's gonna clear these two away. 
and she's not good. She, she does have the option to wait for another red up here, and she does not take it. I actually think this move is totally fine. You, in a way, it kind of breaks the setup and doesn't get a combo. It's an empty clear, but in cases where like the uh, like your efficiency is good enough, in a case like this, I back less than ten seconds. Just go back. Maybe I can just show it properly. Clears that away. She gets the in a case like this where you're like clearing two viruses in, in six and you're you know making a big horizontal across the board like this this is perfectly fine especially in her position obviously that's fine but uh you can absolutely make empty clears if you're getting like really good pill efficiency uh and you're not like making any garbage or anything and it's just gonna be a clean no no drop time no garbage situation like this uh that's perfectly fine and this is very good analysis when you're in a situation where you don't pressure your opponent and you let them clearing viruses easily like that you already lost the game yeah exactly um, so if you're wondering like why your combo is so important, that's the reason. Like you have to keep if if your opponent is pressuring you with garbage and you're not pressuring them back, then they just get to run away with the game. Or her. You're correct. I'm gonna give Snipe a pass. Uh, you know, English is not his first language, so that's fine. That's uh I mean, not not to say your English isn't good, Snipe. Your English is actually very good, but <laughs> uh he gets he's gonna get a pass on that one. You can even hear Savage saying, oh, he's going to have to combo like every single opportunity. And it's like, yeah, because he's so far behind at this point now that that's what it would take. And 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 if he doesn't, then Betty's just going to continue to rain garbage. And like this game is over now. Like she didn't mean to do that as she shakes her head. <laughs> but she can put a blue yellow maybe right here. No, she'll just go for this. It's another setup that also works perfectly. Honestly, at this point, any combo is good. He could probably just combo him out from this point. And yeah, even under clearing on column two, wasn't able to bring down anything because of the red yellow that's sticking out from column one. Okay, sick T. Like, yeah, you're just you free reign sick every combo you can get. And the look at that. Look at Savage is so excited about that. She saw it coming. I love that feeling, by the way. But yeah, that was a sweet setup. But yeah, like you're not going to be able to do stuff like that if people are constantly raining garbage on you. Again, I you know I don't want to beat a dead horse here, but for sure. Agreed. If anything, I would risk further board health harm to attack as when the opponent has a wide open and low board, the trash takes that much longer to fall, which buys more time to clean up. Uh, yes, in Watchmas case, I would agree with you because he is very far behind. He does not have the luxury of making the, the cleanest moves because he just doesn't have the space to do it. And uh, he needs any any chance he needs to take any chance he can get. He needs to make high risk choices that can potentially get him a big enough reward to actually come back and potentially win the game. In this particular case, I really don't see it. But if you are in his spot and your job is to try to win this game, that is what you should do. Absolutely. Yeah, and this is Betty just feeling herself, like, oh, doing whatever she wants. Oh, boy. All right, that's all right. That's all right. Watch me still working through it. Elizabeth B, she's ready to go. It's a double yellow blitz. Getting another combo. I think Savage just calls you Elizabeth B. That's... Uh, <laughs> undertucking those... But, yeah, anyway, this game is basically... That's basically all you need to see here. So, yeah, uh, don't let players like Betty just do whatever they want. That's the moral of this this match story. Okay, we're going to the last one here. All right. What's it gonna be? We're gonna... Or do. Yeah, okay, Betty. You're a little biased in this case, I think. Okay. First move. Double blue. Uh, hmm. So. This is, for me, this is not a clear-cut choice. Like, kind of the obvious move here is to do this. Because it just works well. It doesn't create anything too vertical, too uneven. Um, my own, I don't love it, but it probably is still the best move here. I mean, it unfortunately breaks, like, it makes this blue-yellow stack, potential stack setup uneven, and now you can't blue-yellow here. But you can just put yellow-blues over in this side. 
and that's fine. So it's probably not a huge deal. Also, same thing with the blue red, but it's still better than putting it vertically, and there's nowhere else to put it down horizontally. So this is this uh this blue double blue here is probably the best move. We'll see if that's what they do. Okay, interesting. Watchman actually puts it to the side here. I mean, yeah, it's uh, it does. I would wait a bit to see the next piece preview before making the decision. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know if if I I I agree with you. Like obviously, looking at the next box is huge for for making decisions in a lot of cases. I don't know how much it matters here, especially when you see blue yellow. Like, what are you gonna do? Like. Even if you put a blue here, now you have only a blue good spots for blue yellow, but you'd really prefer to put blue yellow here. Oh, if I could get my back up. You really like to put blue yellow here to try to actually get a, a combo going if you can, because that's the only place that blue yellow will contribute to an actual combo. You might be hoping that you get like a double yellow situation so you can make this setup, but you know that that's not coming in the next pill. Obviously, we get a little cheat here and we see that it will happen. I, so I assume that's where that double yellow for Watchman will end up being. But not knowing that this double yellow is coming, the best this does is clear open the, the, the edge, which is not good, but not at the very start of the game. At the very start of the game, you just want to take whatever move is going to get you a combo fastest. For example, if you had a double yellow, you'd put your double blue at the right, and then, yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah, so what I, I didn't even see you said that, but yeah, but not knowing that that double yellow is coming... Um, yeah, it changes your decision for sure. Yeah, but yeah, if you saw a double yellow, I think you're right. Like I said, you would probably put it, this probably would be the best option. Or even you could put the double blue, like, or put the plan to put the double yellow here after you put it there and get the center cleared. You know, you have a lot of options. But uh, yeah, that's, um, yeah, double blue in the center breaks combo potential into double yellow or red shows up real quick. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. That's what Betty ends up doing. I feel like that's probably the safest move that you could do. This is obviously he's going to get a double yellow to make this work, but not knowing it's coming in the next pill. I really don't know how I feel about this move. It's not that wrong, but it's just kind of a weird risk to take. Cause then if like red falls here, this is absolutely horrible. Like you don't, and especially on the right side of, as, as opposed to the left, I just don't, I just don't like it, but that's just me. Anyway, let's continue. does not end up getting what he needs and now he's in this terrible spot i don't not not to say that anything would have been gone differently if he had put the double blue here you lose a bit of time compared to your opponent who just want to rush the first combo but it would be worth it at the end yeah but i mean you're taking a calculated risk on getting the exact pills you need to clear that out um i would love to go back and see seeing as betty made the move i suggested i'd love to see how she tackled the rest of that so we're gonna go back because i said so I just want to see how she played. We're, I know we're kind of breaking protocol here, but I just want to see how she tackled this opening with her uh, with her pills because they got the same pills. So theoretically, Watchman could have played the same moves as her. Amazing, yeah. She gets that first combo, which totally gives her an early advantage. Um, I kind of want to break down all the moves she just made, but let's go fast. Okay. She goes double blue there. We know that move. And then yellow blue at the side. Totally agree with that. Get another setup. Now this double yellow has nowhere else to go. He she puts it here. She could put it on the left, I guess. Not a big deal. Uh, she gets the blue red here because that's it, and she sees the double red coming. So yeah, I love this move. Then she'll put the double red and take her first combo. Yeah, I think just generally speaking, keeping it even and trying to keep setups open as much as you can at the start is the way to go. That's just my my play style for sure. Um, to be honest, I personally feel like that's objectively correct, but. Uh, there's there's something to be considered from what Snipe said in terms of like investing in your future. Uh, can I get a less horrible frame to pause on? What is going on here? I don't know what's wrong with the video. This is awful. But uh, there is something to be to think about in terms of investing in your in your future for sure. I don't know in this particular case if this is a great investment in your future. There's some debate to be had, and we don't really have the time to have that debate right now because that's go pretty deep. But uh, always try to keep combo setups as much as possible. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Betty, you know the combo. Watch me. 
and she's gonna get another combo and that's this is why it's so important like now that she's getting garbage she is free to make more combos and then it just snowballs from here so this is exactly why getting the first blood is so important it's again it's not the be all end all you can definitely come back from it but uh it really sets the tone of the game and i think you'd always rather be in the spot betty's in right now than in the spot watch was in right now <laughs> Tempo. I don't. I don't want to get too deep in the weeds. I. I know. I agree with you. Tempo is a thing I'd love to think. You know, nobody talks about. Um. But uh, I could. I could do an entire. I could have an entire like stream talking about tempo and verses. So let's not go there tonight. But absolutely. Oh, we're supposed to be watching Watchma's game. But yeah, I mean, sorry, I wasn't even watching her his screen here. But he's. You know, this is okay. He's doing setups, but like. Man, look at the spot he's in. Now he's getting all these double reds where this... Honestly, he does all of that. I think he should have just probably... Hard in the moment when you're so scared you're going to die. But I think he should have just tucked the double red under here and then gone like that. Clears it as center columns. If he gets another double red, he puts it here just to be safe. It breaks his setup, but like he has to prioritize survival in this case. For sure. Like, There's no way that you... Uh... Just dump all the reds over here and risk death. Like any combo from Betty, like the one she's queuing up right now, just kills him instantly. So, uh, if it falls in column four, so yeah, I think seeing that would have been a much better move, even if he's technically breaking a setup here. Although it ends up dropping down, which is pretty good, but I think that was greedy. He could have totally died there. He probably should have just played it safe. Oh fucking whoa! I'm gonna need to bleep that out on YouTube. Sorry, that just <laughs> startled me. Uh, wow. Okay, so uh, that was not great. Let me go back ten seconds so we can talk about that. Nope. So this, uh, he does this. That's fine. He makes this move, and then he stacks this like that. I don't see the logic here, other than like. Technically, if he clears these reds, the yellow combos and the reds drop down, but it's not even a, there's only one red down here. It's not even a full combo. So maybe he just thought that's what he was doing and he misinterpreted the setup and did this by accident. But then the double red, I had, was this, uh, I can't believe the video is messing up like this, but like, is this double red like a, uh, a misdrop? The way he puts this here? Let me, let me get past this frame. What is it doing? Pause, it always Knowing does that. That's gonna come. Yeah. Oh. So like this is just beyond the pale. Like I mean, I guess what he might have been thinking was like, I'll put the yellow I've got a horizontal setup now, and then I'll put the double reds here. But again, like this is so dangerous and unnecessary. Maybe he feels he needs to take this kind of a risk to to um to win the entire game, but what a <laughs> what a risk to take. That's wild. I don't think I could ever justify doing this myself. That's crazy. I think he's going to get this in here with the red yellow. But if you misdrop, you die. Uh, if you don't get a red yellow or a yellow piece, you're dead. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't love uh, I don't love this idea. Like I get the I get the, the thought, but this is so like risky. It's just indefensible to me personally. Because even now, like. It's not like his board's in a great spot. It's not like he totally took his entire board down. So was this risk even really worth it? Like, I don't think so. Uh, oh boy. That column six there for Watchman. Very tough garbage. And yeah, he just pulled there. I wonder if he might, might have been able to recover if he, uh, on, we'll look at that in a second. That's all right. Like, I think I'm just going here. Yeah, that's fine. And this this red yellow should have just gone right here, which he does. Now you have to prioritize this blue horizontal. This move was not it. This blue yellow even was not great because you have to do this now to try to start bringing things down unless you're getting like red blues that you can put here to make a, a sweet setup because that's really the only thing you have going for you. Um, what could he have done with this red yellow that instead? Like, even if he had just laid it flat, that would have been better than what he ended up doing. I think he just needed to play safe unfortunately he was just in such a bad spot 
Yeah, that's what I'm wondering, J Mark. Is there a better place for the red, yellow in the spot? I want to go back. You can only do it if your opponent's board is really at the top. Yeah, I mean, that's a totally different story. Like, if you're trading combo for combo and you're both in this situation, maybe you take the risk to make a combo because you could top your opponent out and win on the spot. Sure, that's risk worth taking the risk. But uh, in his in Watchman's position, I don't I don't like it. So he does this. Maybe this blue yellow even should have gone somewhere else. Like maybe like maybe this yellow blue can go like here, and then he can start a setup here or something. He could even like in theory you could even like tuck it underneath like you could just go like yellow blue here maybe with a tuck like and betty's board was healthy no need to do that one combo wouldn't cause her enough trouble exactly like you just need to survive and get into a spot where you can start coming back maybe let her get a, a lead and then start taking advantage of giving her insanely long drop time and to stun lock and make the comeback rather than putting yourself in a spot to potentially lose the game immediately i don't super love that um yeah toxic fire spin likes to tuck down here i don't even love the move though it's not great I, honestly i probably would just do this if i had thought of it if i had time to think about it or sorry not that <laughs> the other way the uh yellow blue like this just to maybe do something because uh or even honestly now that i'm thinking about it even just doing like yellow blue like this because at some point, unless you get a double blue, you can't get this horizontal, so you have to build up to it. And at least this connects the blues horizontally. This yellow is technically garbage, but at least it's not garbage at the top of the screen about to kill you. And you're building up a platform. Uh, and then this red-yellow maybe can go like uh, like this. And now you have a position where you can actually make this blue horizontal and start to break down the left side. Um, that, I think, might have been better than blocking the whole thing off cutting off any opportunity for play down here and basically blocking off this horizontal as well. Um, and then you don't have anything meaningful to do with any pieces that aren't red blues or double blues pretty much. So there's, there's, there's ways you could have attacked this better, but I think the key is that this double blue horizontal needs to happen and you need to make whatever moves will get you there before the garbage ruins it. Um, and then if you go past that, that red yellow, let's say we do make this move and we go to this red yellow, like where can we put this now that this move is locked in? Like, that's the thing. I don't think you have a good move for this yellow red, except maybe, maybe you can do like, uh, maybe you can do like yellow red or something. Uh, or you could even do like, um, yellow red or whoops, not blue. <laughs> yellow red in this spot here maybe because then you can put a yellow here you get a horizontal that doesn't seem great either <laughs> to be honest uh i think now that this horizontal is blocked like i don't even know what else if there's anything else you can really do here this seems kind of like whatever uh not not amazing um it's actually okay it used both the red and the yellow uh you mean the move that he's gonna make here in a moment The yellow red tuck not the yellow blue i don't know what you mean there's really nowhere to tuck a yellow red in this board but yeah sorry no i'm just not sure what you meant by that Let's see what he ends up doing he does this move yeah it used i see you're saying his move is actually okay it used both the red and the yellow it's like so yes it does but it's first of all it's in column five and second of all it's just like I don't know. Honestly, the more I look at it, the more I feel like there's no good move with this red yellow. Maybe this is the best thing he could have done. But even just putting it like connecting the yellow more, like, because this yellow technically isn't connected to this yellow horizontal possibility here. It's off to the thought. It's off, like, it's, it's three spaces to the right. So he needs yellow here and here to make a horizontal, not here. That doesn't really matter. Uh, so I think the best thing to do is to just go like yellow red with it. And then if you get another yellow, you can horizontal away. Again, not awesome. But this yellow red's so bad, such a bad pill to get here anyway, that that's probably all you can do. And you have another yellow red coming. So yeah, I think this blue yellow, honestly, was the mistake that really sealed it. From there, I don't really think there's a lot you can do that he could have done in this case. Yellow uh -oh. red comes, and that's rough. <laughs> does get a setup, but... Yeah, now there's too much garbage up here, and like I don't know how you ever resolve this when you're at the top of the board. So 
yeah, anyway, we know what happens from here. So he'll cop out. Um, in the interest of, you know, fairness, let's go watch Betty B's victory lap, I guess. <laughs> So she takes the double blue. We saw this opening already, so we'll just watch it. This beautiful opening again. Well done. And it gets this blue yellow setup, which she breaks. I actually don't love that. She did a blue red here on top. I mean, yeah, it created another setup. So another example we're breaking the setup's not a big deal. Because then she makes another yellow red setup and just completely gets it. And now she's just set. She's just making combos left and right. He gets quadded, like and he makes she makes another combo and he gets doubled. And he makes another combo and he gets doubled as he's trying to, to sort this out. Like, if he had just, you know, uh, made some different decisions to pressure Betty a little bit more, um, then this could have been different, I think. Also, just the pace of Betty's play is really good. If there's anything that I feel like Betty's improved on since even November, it's just the pace of play that she plays at. If your opponent is comboing faster than you're playing, then, like, you it's really hard to win. Like... <laughs> I, that was one thing that I identified uh, after Columbus is like oh, the uh, the pace of play that I saw was like anything I think he had ever seen before out uh, of out of anyone. So uh, that's been the biggest oh, adjustment that most players have made. I feel like Betty for sure has uh, worked on that a lot, um, and players that aren't catching up to that and working on how fast they're playing uh, are gonna fall behind. I think. Yeah. Like, I mean, there's really not much to say about her round because she just got to make every sick combo <laughs> as Watchma struggled because he misplayed at the top of his board. Like, it's, uh, it just, it is what it is. But yeah, I mean, that moral of that match, like, there's just, like, sometimes small things make a huge difference. Like, the opening is, uh, of, of a versus game is really important because if you don't get the first combo, if your opponent beats you to first combo, uh, or if, um, you just uh, take a different path and your opponent gets the combo first and, and gets a lucky garbage, that can that can set you so far behind right off the hop. Um, you really want to be the person getting the first combo and then snowballing that advantage um, to continue comboing your opponent because that literally just won Betty the game in this case.